Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms. <laughs> Just out here in the garage doing some work, getting ready to rebuild a brake caliper, and I uh, thought I'd make a video because time is drawing near on this project. I made a video a while back called uh, 45 foot antenna tower for 75 bucks. Well, y'all talk me into it. Uh, the old Antron I have on the roof here, which is the subject of today's discussion, has been in the air for over 18 years now, and it's still holding up great, as you can tell. I'm talking skip here. And um, I actually had it at the last house for about 14 years, moved it up here, and now it's going on close to five years. So uh, it survived a move. It survived uh, countless storms and hurricanes and snowstorms and windstorms and everything else. But I thought it was time to do an upgrade, so that is that. Why don't I go ahead and hop on the roof of this building, and I'll show you the old Antron A99, or SolarCon A99, uh, as it's called now. And I'll just kind of show it off, show it to you, and see just how much weathering it has, and just how effective it still is. On the bottom, for those of you who haven't already seen my base setup, but uh, here's a ground rod. It's an 8-foot rod, and sticking out about 3 feet because I ran into a rather large rock, but... That's where it all starts, good ground. Got my ground wire that goes up here, up to the top, which is about, that's about 16, 17 feet up in the air. And that's where I have a 10 foot pole attached there. And as you can see the wires that run into the house from there. And then as we continue up the pole, another 10 feet or so, there's the old Antron sticking straight up in the sky. So let's get up there and get a closer look so you can get a better look at it. Uh, hopefully I won't fall off the roof because that would not really make for a great video, I don't think. Well, here's what Farpoint looks like from the roof. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get to the business at hand so I don't die up here. There it is. Let me get a better standing. Hold on. It's just not very comfortable standing up here, but there she is. The connection going down. And then uh, hopefully you can see just how weathered that is rust a little bit and the connections and the fiberglass is just worn just really worn but still working in fact i'm gonna sell it somebody out there will want it so like i said i'm gonna make this short because it's just not yeah. cool okay i feel a lot better i'm back on the ground now <laughs> anyway i hope that uh standing up close showed off just how worn it is but that's really a testament. 18 years, all those weather conditions, all that wear, and still a heck of a performer. Now, I'm running stock, 4 watts, 12 watts SSB, and uh, I mean, it works. It's great. So, um, future plans, obviously, if you watch my other video. If not, uh, it's in my catalog somewhere. I urge you to check it out. I'm going to be building a 4x4 tower right here. It's going to pivot up, brace itself at that very point right there, go up another 20 feet. And then a SolarCon IMAX 2000 is going to sit up there with some brand new uh, uh, LM400 wiring that I just picked up. That's it. It's a short video. It's a review of the old Antron A99. Here's a couple pictures of it here. This is what they look like new. They're still available. You can get a ground plane kit for it. It looks like this. I urge you, if you were to gonna go out and buy a Antron to probably skip the ground plane kit but to invest in some high quality wiring and a really good grounding rod and ground wire kit so that is it i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you next time take care